Hello everyone, Dawn Master here. Got a new video for you with some cool little goodies I got over the last couple weeks that I'd like to show you. Um, we'll start with the ratchet. So, for those of you who follow me, you know that I own the 3H drive. Mac BRS 038. I bought it new um, from my Mac dealer several uh, months back probably over a year actually now and uh, it's great it's a home ratchet i got the snap-ons at work and um i picked up this one today slightly used quarter drive and i always wanted the quarter drive to go along with it basically it's the same ratchet just with a quarter anvil and um To be honest with you, I traded it straight up for my uh, DeWalt 12 volt extreme quarter inch one that I wasn't too happy with. Um, the RPM is slower on this, but the torque is much greater. And I just like the uh, battery um, design better, how it slides on this way instead of this way, like the DeWalt. And my coworker, he bought both of these like this, brand new, two months ago. And he. Uh, he said, hey, you want to trade for the DeWalt you have straight across for my Mac? He's like, I've only been using it for a couple months, and I just, I like your DeWalt. I'm like, sure. Um, so I traded him straight across, and he uses it every day. He used this every day for a couple months. It's not, it's still in pretty good shape. Um, it's pretty much still brand new. 038, or oh, this is the BRS. 025 200 rpm so these are slow runners but they're torquey um so i got that bear tool from him traded straight across i have plenty of these batteries also have the uh, five amp batteries i got two of those they make these pretty long for extended reach situations um so I could talk for days about ratchets, electric ratchets, but um, I need to move on to the to the next items. Um, it's the second. Whoa, that flipped up quick. Second set of uh, red picks I got from my Mac dealer last Thursday. I don't think I did a video on them. Uh, SDP two two piece pocket screwdriver set, and um, to be honest with you, the Mac ones are my favorite. They just, I don't know, some about them, they're very strong, they're, they're small, they fit nice, uh, I like them. Uh, I bought the two pack of these red ones about two years ago from him, and I lost the straight, I still have the curved, but I love these little guys, I like the, uh, the hot stamping in there, you know, that stays in there for a long time. Nothing cheap about these. The shanks don't spin because they're square. That's one thing I haven't heard really anyone talk about. The Matco ones I bought, they're the, uh, the circle shafts, and they spin. If you're trying to pry something or trying to use the straight one as a screwdriver, the shaft spins in the handle. It's worthless. So I don't even use them. 50 bucks for a three-pack of the of the Maccos, and I don't even... They're useless. So the Macs are what I like. Uh... The snap-ons are great, too. Uh, speaking of snap-ons, let me just grab the other ones I got. So, here's the other one I got. This, These are kind of similar to the Matcos, but the shafts don't spin. Um, the circle shaft. And uh, I wish they would have done a square, because the square ones, they just don't come out or spin as easy as these circle shaft ones. And this is nice. I haven't used it much, but I think this is nicer than the Matco. Um... But anyway, um, I like it. And then uh, these two, it's about 30 bucks for this two pack, which I mean, 30 bucks to 30 bucks, but they have a lifetime warranty. And uh, so that's that pocket pry bars. I think the Mac was the first ones to start doing these too. And they're still my favorite overall for the price. And then I and I like the handles. I just like the Mac Comfort Grip handles. There's just something about it. Um, and then Mac uh, came by today, and I picked up 
uh, a new magnet is all I got from him. Uh, just a compact one. I'm not sure who makes these, but they are made in USA. Um, I'm pretty positive they're made in USA, actually. And these are, have a lifetime warranty. And uh, they extend out pretty, pretty good. Um, you got pretty good length on that. And the uh, magnet portion of it's really strong. I believe it's the same company that makes uh, snap-ons, uh, which say blue point like that. The mirror is another thing we're going to talk about. But anyway, uh, I think this was $16, which isn't too bad. I'm sure someone's going to be like, oh, you can get them on for 5 bucks, Whatever. Um, I like supporting my Mac dealer. He's a really good guy, and he's probably my favorite tool dealer out of all of them. It's just preference on you know anyway and then uh, yesterday was uh, Matco Wednesday and I ordered this a couple weeks ago from him uh, me and another tech ordered these um, when you're tearing into a Duramax diesel and uh, you got to get the heater hoses disconnected um, just get this it makes it so much easier the plastic ones are too thick and they just don't work they just don't work you have to have this guy. Um, it really helps. It's the GMH HD, and that's the Matco part number. Um, Lyle probably makes this, I'm guessing, for Matco, but I got it off the Matco truck. I think it was 20 bucks. So, and um, it's made in China, believe it or not. But whatever, it's it's an aluminum piece. And it makes it much easier. And my work got one for the shop as well. Because that's how they are. If we need something, they get it. But me and the other guy, we got our own too. Because we like having having it for ourselves. Um, on Friday last week, I, uh, I got this repaired. Um, so I bought this Blue Point UIM225 um from my snap-on dealer years ago so when i first started when i was a lot younger about 10 years ago i bought this and the mirror it didn't get cracked but it got um like jb weld or something on it that was stuck to the mirror portion for the last two years and i finally had enough of it couldn't get it cleaned off so my snap-on dealer that i have currently i was just gonna buy a new mirror and he's like hey i can just um replace the mirror because he has replacement mirrors and uh it just unscrews here this nut pops in and you're done so i got the mirror replaced instead of replacing the whole unit so this is repairable so that's nice and then also on friday last week i picked up these uh old style instinct handle which I really like compared to the newer style, in my opinion. I just, I don't know. I like the older Instinct handles. Something about them. I like the older style stuff. These are the uh, terminal disconnect set uh, pin for uh, depinning and uh, taking uh, connectors apart. These normally come in a tray. And uh, I believe this is a repo item. The guy said they were never even used. He ended up giving them back because um, he couldn't pay his bill, I'm guessing. And they were rubber banded together in the use slash repo slash discount bin on uh, my Snap-on dealer's truck. And um, I was going to buy a new set of these with the newer Instinct handles six months or so ago. I almost, almost got them because I do do a lot of electrical. And... Uh, they're like three hundred dollars for this for the bigger set that comes with all these, three hundred bucks, and uh, I was like, nope, not doing that. I'll get some from Cornwell or something. Uh, but then I just held off. My boss has this same exact set in the plastic tray, and I just use his if I ever need them. But anyway, these were on the Snap-on truck for seventy-five bucks, since they were a discounted item. And uh, when he said seventy-five, I was like, oh yeah, I'll take them because. 
they're really good and they're nice to have and they were less than a third of the price brand, brand new if I bought them in the tray. So I asked him if he could order me the tray for them and he can. If any of you are wondering, um, it just makes it easier if you have a part number. So I looked in my boss's box and uh, grabbed his set. And there's a part number on his plastic tray, and he has the exact same set with these old Instinct handles. So I just had him order me uh, the tray for a couple bucks. So the tray should be here tomorrow, hopefully. And then I'll have them all in a tray, and that'll be nice. Maybe I'll do a little clip on that. So for 75 bucks, I don't think that's too bad. I thought that was a good deal. So anyway, basic little haul. Nothing crazy expensive couple trades some uh little deals here not too much money spent and uh just chugging along wrenching every day and uh getting some stuff i need here and there um got some pliers out i wanted to talk about a little bit these i got on amazon and they were heavily discounted on prime thousand volt rated um multi pliers so they're like a needle nose slash lineman slash cutters i guess i don't know they're just kind of like called an assembly plier i think and i just got them because they were cheap they were like 15 dollars on amazon and i thought that was a really good price for something with nipex made in germany and i didn't own any of the thousand volt rated nipexes and i'm like for that price i'll get them i've had these for quite a while now but i just wanted to tell you guys that i love them and if you want to know a part number they're compact design and i just keep them in my car and they come really handy for doing cutting packaging cutting zip ties or just you know sometimes you need a pair of pliers in the car and this is what i carry in the car uh but anyways these are the 08 28 145s Main Germany. And then another ones I really like, uh, I've had for a while now, are the Snap-on uh, Compact Needle Nose. And they're the... Uh, they're the 94 CFs. And uh, they're USA, obviously. And they're just the cushion handles, they're just so nice. Snap-on pliers and stuff, that you just can't beat them. Like, they're just really nice. And these little guys work great for pulling fuses and just getting in there, you know. These are a lot nicer than those cheap mini plier sets you get on the Mack truck or Cornwell truck, you know, the Chinese 10 or 12 piece sets with the springs in there, you know. These are just, these beat them by miles. I just, I love them. But a 10 piece set of something like this is going to be pretty pricey compared to the Mac ones for 50 or 100 bucks or whatever they are on the Mac truck for the whole set, you know. This is, you know, this plier by itself is like 35 to $40. But you get what you pay for, I guess. It's good quality. And then the Kleins, the Klein Flush Cuts. Uh, when I bought these, they were like 10 bucks at Home Depot. I've had them for a couple years. These are great flush cuts, you know, cut and zip ties. And the price just went up, you know, inflation. I noticed. I looked at these the other day at Home Depot, and they're like like twelve or thirteen bucks now. So get them now before they jump up to fifteen or twenty. And they are made in USA. That's the cool part about it. Uh, Klein Tools, USA. You can see on the handle it says right there, made in the USA. And uh, if you want to know a part number on these, uh, they're the uh, D2755s, and they're just a basic flush cut. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, appreciate all you guys that uh, support my channel, and uh, please leave a comment, ask a question, whatever. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.